My name is Rhapsody, and I don't really have that much time to record this episode, but I need to record this episode, and I want to record this episode because I love this goddamn game, or else it gets... So, if I haven't got much time, what do I have to do? Play Greed Mode. That's what I gotta do. Greed Mode's a relatively short... Uh, it's 20-25 minutes. I got 20-25 minutes to spare. I am Lazarus on Curse of the Blind with Synth Oil for damage plus range up. Don't mind if I already did. What have we got? Oh, of course we don't know what we've got in here. Right, this is a, this is a curse. Oh, it's a temperance. Yay. That's a 48 hour energy. Yay. Uh, I mean, I guess I don't really care about dying because that's the whole point of Lazarus. Die, die, die. So you can get that sweet damage up. I mean, I can't turn down a full heal when I've got a demon beggar outside, though. So let's see if we can get the Demon Beggar to pay out while we die. Oh! Caffeine pills. Speed up, size down. Oh, God. I got fucking balls of steel. Are you kidding me? This is the worst time I could have gotten that. Oh, man. All right, so my damage right now should be 45 by the game's metric or 4.5 by a normal human person's metric. The game basically takes what it reports as its statistics and then times it by 10 for spider mod probably just to make the numbers look more impressive to be honest some sort of small psychological tactic that they're trying to pull on you there more impressive numbers you feel more empowered as a character i don't know it just seems like that would be the kind of thing that's gone on behind the scenes alternatively they just wanted nice integers instead of having you know decimals and Stuff like that. Your, your, your floats and your doubles. Alright, what do we got going on here? Just some dips. Easy. So yes, we're doing 4.5. But the thing is, if Lazarus dies, he moves his base damage up to 4.2, if I recall correctly. I don't know if that's through getting a modifier or through just, you know, moving his base damage up. But he ends up to 4.2, so we should be after that doing either 5.2 or whatever one by the multiplier is. I don't know if it's a multiplier that he gets. I do need to check that out, actually. My understanding is it's just the addition of base damage, but I could be wrong. If it's a multiplier, then god, all of my metrics are going to be off. Speaking of, actually... In terms of just talking about concrete numbers for the Binding of Isaac. I've been thinking recently, uh, Missing HUD 2. It's a mod for the Binding of Isaac that just displays your stats on the screen. Right, so directly under my coins, my bombs, my keys, it would just display what my luck stat is, what my damage stat is, what my speed stat is, what my tier rate stat is. Uh, my deal with the devil percentage chance, my deal with the angel percentage chance, and I think that's it, actually. But it can display all of those. And I think it could be really, really interesting, especially considering the way that I actually look at this game in a more... It, you know, in, in a much less... Let's just pick up these items and roll with them, and a much more this does 0.7 tiers up kind of way. I think it might be actually really helpful for that kind of stuff. And I just don't really know whether it's something that would translate into good content. So if it's something that you'd be interested in seeing applied to a few videos, I'm totally down to do it. So let me know in the comments down below as to whether or not that's a mod that you'd like to see played with. Polyphemus, Mega Tears. Well, we need tier delay down and tier rate up. I don't... See, I think I should just hold on to my money rather than just randomly buy possibly horrible items. So I'm not actually a huge fan of Polyphemus anymore. Interesting, right? So Polyphemus used to be one of my favorite items, but the tier rate of it now is just so slow that it makes me not particularly pleased with it. Especially considering we're in greed mode where the goal is get chaos become guppy. You want to have a high fire rate. Okay. Well, at least we get to trade away our health to the first deal with the devil. And then respawn after that. So we get the benefit of having the health and the benefit of the respawn. That's not that bad. 
Go down to the new floor. Okie dokie, no curse of the blind. Cross your fingers with me. What have we got? Caves with no curse of the blind. You clearly crossed your fingers and I appreciate that. Whew, I'll come back for that after I've killed myself. Uh, this is a pretty fly. It's a infested question mark. That's an infested full st uh, not full stop exclamation mark rather. Okie dokie, take this pop. Uh, uh, ooh, man, that's zero point seven tears up plus a size down and I believe a speed up as well. It's one other statistic that I can't ever remember. So bad at it. <laughs> Dear Lord, excuse me. Okay, definitely take this. <laughs> Man, what has gone into me? My nose is just constantly itchy. And it's only while I'm recording. If I stop recording, it's fine. Okay, that's a full set of orbitals. Alright, I'm down with it. <laughs> Alright. This reminds me of a Dimitri Martin joke. Sneezes are like earrings. One is okay, but three in a row is annoying. Or is it one is okay and three in a row is way too many? I don't know, man. I watched that special like years ago at this point. Having a 1.5 times damage multiplier on top of Polyphemus, which itself I believe is some damage multiplier. It's so rare that I don't really <laughs> keep it in mind. Uh... Especially because their stack is just incredible. This is what you need. You either need your Polyphemus tiers to be so incredibly powerfully punching that every single time they hit, they just destroy everything they hit, or you need to be firing them fairly often. At least more often than base Polyphemus would let you. And we're done here. Lovely. Oh. Never mind, we've got to do it again. That's fine. If we've proven anything, it's that it won't take long. Okay, another... In oh, never mind, it's pinned, of course. I was like, ooh, invisible haunt? Huh? I don't know about this boss. Nope, just pin. Alright, what's in here? Nothing yet. And still nothing afterwards. <sighs> nah, uh, you know what? I have to take the candle just because it can kill all of these dudes. So it's basically like a bunch of bombs for me. Yeah. Did that? That almost paid for itself, I think. Gave me seven cents back on, I believe, a 15 cent purchase. I don't think it was discounted. Okay, down to the next floor. We do have enough to get an item and, crucially, the money that I need to get a key. That'll fucking do! Alright, first off, let's do this. Okay, missed the first one. We got it again. It's fine. Excuse moi The fuck is going on here? Thank you. Alright. Whoa, actually, you take precedence over everything else. Okay. Playing him perfectly, constantly getting two triggers per heart. Never mind, I fucked it up that time. How a pill doesn't matter. Pretty much all of the pills don't matter. Fine, infested. I really don't give a shit about any of the pills. They're pretty much all trash. Judgment, let's try it. Okay, I don't think I'll pay that judgment out. That is tier rate plus shot speed down. I kind of want to take it, to be honest. Okay, just get these guys out. Alright, I'll take it. I don't like shot speed down, but I think I'll get enough things in this run that are shot speed up to balance it. Damn it, shouldn't have bought the key until I went in there. Marked. Huh. So marked is a huge tears up. 
But this is way more tears up. But that's also a damage multiplier down. Alright. We'll play with Marked. I think Marked is kind of cool. Basically, we're moving around this little X on the floor, and we'll just constantly fire in whatever direction the X is. So it makes things, in my opinion, a little more difficult to aim. And they're not more difficult to aim because, you know, there's any inherent difficulty in the aiming mechanism. It's just because you aren't used to this aiming mechanism, right? This is not typically how you aim things in The Binding of Isaac. So it's not something that comes naturally. In the same way that guillotine isn't a bad item, it's just difficult to use because you usually focus on your head being like the central point of your body and then focus all your dodging around using your head and moving your head out of the way of things and stuff like that. But uh, this isn't, this isn't bad. And it's definitely something I think I can get used to, whereas the guillotine, I tried, I did, I really did give it the old college try, but it's too fucking hard. It's not cute. For me, at least. For many other people, it's an excellent item. But for me in particular, it's abysmal, I hate it. Okay, I took a lot of red heart damage there. I don't know where all that red heart damage came from. It feels a little sudden. Sorry, sudden to me. Uh, all right, I'll reroll. Yeah, definitely take the tears up. And I've already got a full suite of orbitals, so I'll take the soul heart. Oh, damn, I want that. God damn, why'd you have to show up afterwards? Okay. Full suite of orbitals is absolutely sweet. And you're dead. Beautiful. I don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. That's everything, I believe. Yes. All right, let's get out of here. Very solid floor for us. Now, if we can become Guppy... Just say that every single run. Now, if we could just become Guppy... All of our woes would be taken care of. Virgo, we feel refreshed and protected. So we now have neutral or good key, uh, pills in our rotation. Let's use that to save half of a spirit heart. Um, I'll take the spider babby. I don't actually particularly have any strong emotions about it. Spider Babby, sorry, I mean uh, Spider Mod. I actually really like Spider Mod generally, but this run is, let's face it, each of these tiers may as well just read lethal, right? It doesn't matter how much damage these tiers are doing. I don't really need to know. When you have a high tier rate, that's the kind of point that you need to know. Okay. Also got the item room that I still haven't even gone to because I'm a dumb dude. Single spirit heart is fine as well. Oh, right. Relic. I was wondering why that turned up. Still don't know the attacks of Champion more, but we'll learn them eventually. God, I don't like that this guy is invincible for like half of his lifespan. Just poke up the tail, you goddamn prick. Okay. Okay, got one hit. No, never mind, not gonna get that. Shot speed way too low. The tail! The fucking... This guy is just taking a whole minute longer than he has any right to do. I'm glad I'm not a speedrunner at times like this. 
What the fuck are you doing? Stop serving up your fishy goddamn face. I just want to see the tail. All right, never mind. Just the fucking face again, I guess. Is this a champion version that just doesn't put his tail up? That would be the worst, worst champion iteration of anything. Next to Carrion Queen's champion iterations, which are all horrible. Okay. Seriously, does this guy just not put his tail up? That's kind of fucked up. Because especially, I mean, Matt, imagine trying to do this as a Dr. Fetus run. How are you going to if he doesn't put his tail up? It's literally been two minutes now. Not a single tail in the air attack. Yeah, that just must be what this champion version is. So it's not even difficult to kill, it's just annoying. This boss is pretty poorly designed, to be honest. <laughs> the fact that they took, like, oh my god, are you kidding me? It actually has a tail attack. I just got that unlucky. Fucking atrocious. Alright, I think Spider Mod was... Oh, never mind, there's also a... <laughs> Somehow I was about to leave without even doing my deal with the devil. Ah, god damn it. The goddamn eyes are always exactly at the worst position for them to be for you. Alright, focusing on moving my Locus of Tears and this. It's too much. It's, it's too much, actually. My brain cannot do all of these things at the same time. I'm having a lot of difficulty with it. Okay, I'll take this guy. It's fine by me. Right, and then the item room. That's what I was originally going back for. Take spider mod. Don't really care about anything else. Get out of here. Okay. Host that protects you from explosions, sometimes blocks tears. Blood Clot, plus one damage on some of your tears, and range up on some of your tears. Definitely take Chaos. Okay, so I'm doing like 400 damage per shot. That's good to know. And that through there as well. Anything over here? Just a single scent, it's fine. And the key's requisite. Perfect, perfect. That wave just killed itself. Not entirely certain what happened there, but... You know, it looks fine to me. I'm not going to complain about it, let's say that much. Wave kills itself. I'm not particularly sad. Kind of annoyed by the fact that we're not exactly capitalizing upon all of the strengths of the spider baby so spider baby has the ability to drop those batteries on the floor that's why that battery is currently on the floor we don't really need those batteries with a use item that replenishes its own supply in like four or five seconds turkey Clear everything down and across here. Easily done. And then it's boss time. Don't have to worry about whether or not that's a difficult boss if it doesn't live long enough to tell you. So at this point, I'm pretty much just leaving my tears in one central location, moving myself around them, just because that's easier for my brain to cope with. Ah, god damn it. At the very least, we do have Virgo, which does trigger the Celtic Cross effect. Or it literally gives you the Celtic Cross. Pretty much. 
which means that when you take damage, occasionally you will just spawn a shield of invincibility for a while. Okay, give me coal, please. That would be lovely, actually. Okay. I'm pretty pleased with this. Thank you very much. Anything up here that I still wanted to take? I kind of want to take the health up, but, I mean, we do have chaos. So, next floor, the item room items are going to be kind of insane. So, we should probably hold off for those. Well, it's not exactly insane. Okay, hang on. Let's get these done. Easy. Really? I don't know if I want anything. Pfft, mum's knife. Probably not good. You know what? Fuck it. We'll just take mum's knife and then save the rest of our money for the rest of the run. Yeah, exactly. 1,000 damage. I mean, mum's knife polyphemus. Plus a bunch of tears ups to make sure that it's not always super short range. It's not that bad. I'm definitely not going to complain about like any amount of damage. But it's also not that interesting. But also... Yeah, sure. Let's have 5,000 butt also's. But also, I really haven't taken Mum's Knife that often recently. So I guess it's fair to take. It kind of defeats the it's not that interesting argument when, you know, <laughs> it's not something that you've even done recently. Right, let's go to the secret room that opened up. Nothing in there. Yeah, it's going to single swipe bosses, like almost every boss. I kind of want to take Gimpy at this point. Just because the only way that I lose is running out of health. And Gimpy will help mitigate that. You know what? Oh shit, I rerolled Gimpy, didn't I? Alright, guess I'm not taking Gimpy. All of our spirit hearts are pretty much collected by this point. Because the location that all of our spirit hearts were coming from was the relic completing waves. And we're not really going to be completing that many waves in the Mega Satan fight. Alright, we're done here, I guess. Fine, this is enough money for me. I don't even think I've donated much as Lazarus, so I might be able to get all of it in. Dang it. Short knife. Okie dokie. Relatively easy. Also, I can use the... Excuse me. I should be able to use this to burn these guys down. Thank you. And see if I can get any extra money. Perfect. Extra two cents there. I am still doing, like, an incredible amount of damage to Ultra Greed here. Like, I don't... I don't know about this. This feels like I'm doing way more damage than I should be able to do. Okay. Perfect. All of those bombs are pretty far away from me. Yeah, he's almost on half health at this point. Okay. That baby... What's his name again? Demon Auto Turret Baby? He's actually doing some straight up goddamn work here. I'm loving it. I'll just hold this knife in front of me. Or not. Jeez. Okay, holding the knife in front of me. Bad idea. Was not... My smartest, nor most clever idea. Let's 
Stop letting them spawn, Ryan. You haven't got a high tier rate. This isn't like your usual builds. All oh, right, he's invincible at the moment. Of course he is. Okay, come on. We can't lose this fight. Not at this point. Not at this point. It would just be disgusting to lose this fight at this point. Not to mention, super inefficient. Perfect. It's always weird that that has a health bar. I remember all the hub hub about, ooh, what set of items do we need to possibly blow it up? And also, of course, the fact that if you shot tears against it that had, I don't know, an explosive effect when hitting enemies. Ah, Eve now holds the razor blade, there we are. If you shot tears against it that had an explosive effect when hitting an enemy, they would explode. Telling you, oh, this is an enemy still. Ah, interesting. But then again, the worry stones in the game are also enemies. Those are the vacuum or turret stones. Uh, they're also coded as enemies, regardless of the fact that they aren't actually an enemy. They're just an entity in the map. Looks like we're going to get all of our money in. We've unlocked Eve holding the razor blade. That's good enough for me. My name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been The Winding Guys of After Birth. Hope you've been enjoying yourself. If you have, please click like. It does help me get my content out to new people. There's also a playlist in the description down below with all of my content on The Binding Isaac, past, present, and future, and hopefully we will see you next time.